Okay, so we have our 3800 set up here in front of this drain, and uh, we've already installed the tool. Um, you can refer to previous videos for installing and removing uh, the tool. I have my gloves on, uh, machine is plugged in. You always make sure that your work area is safe. Um, before you fire the machine up, go ahead and grab some cable, put it in the drain uh, for safety purposes. And um, at this point, my foot switch is ready to go, so I'll have my foot on the foot switch. We're going to run this two different ways. We're going to run it with the power feed and without the power feed. In this case, I'm going to start without it, and I'm going to push through the traps like uh, with that. Put the machine forward. That's the noise that the machine will make when it's under stress. So at this point, now that we've pushed past the, uh, the T that's there, I'm going to go ahead and put this in advance. And I'm going to bring this down until I feel some tension. There I'm starting to feel some tension, so I'll give it about a half a turn. There we go. You give it enough so that the uh, machine can push the cable out. So right there we're up against an obstruction, and what I'm doing is I'm feeding forward slowly to let the machine push through the obstruction. There you go. You always have to keep pressure on the cable to make sure that you are forcing the cable forward. You control the feet of it by way of the lever. There you go. So once again, we're up against something there, so I felt a little resistance, kept pressure down on the cable, and it pushed through it. A cable that spins is a cable that'll move. If you shut the cable off, or the machine off, and try and push through it, you won't be successful because the cable needs to turn in order to move out of its way. So at this point, we've cleaned the obstruction, as an example, and uh, we're going to go ahead and retract the cable. On the front here, we have a sticker that says advance and retrieve. So I'm going to put it in a re retrieve position. And what that's going to do is it's going to start drawing the cable back. And it's OK to help the cable along. The farther out it is, the harder this thing has to work. So there's nothing wrong with pulling up on the cable a little bit and uh, helping the power feed along. Now, if you were to do this manually, you'd simply back this uh, adjustment knob off here a good ways. doesn't have to be completely. And uh, what we're going to do is turn the machine on, and I'm going to pull the cable out and force it into the machine. Okay, so now that you feel that you are close and, and the noise coming out of the drain is telling me that that cutter is rather close to the opening of the drain, so I'm going to go ahead and push this back the rest of the way manually. And there you have the end of your cable.